Hi everyone, I welcome all of you on my YouTube channel, Deepak Samnani's YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe this channel. And uh, please cover your engineering maths from here, from this channel. Whichever branch you belong to, it doesn't matter. You can belong to mechanical, civil, CSE, electrical. You may prepare for XC, PI, aerospace, biomedical, data science. And whatever branch for maths. Okay, or if you're preparing for semester, then also you can follow this. So here I'm going to cover complete syllabus. Many times it happens that people don't find good syllabus. Even uh, there is no book in the market which is covering GATE and IES syllabus completely. Because every year you are seeing some uh, new problems, right? So here I have decided to cover entire engineering maths. This is my last 10 years experience. I am also from IIT and I have cleared my get, GATE in first attempt with 632 rank. Okay, so I think I'm enough capable to teach you. And if you follow this, yeah, you will not find any fancy words from me, any jokes and all. But I promise you that uh, you will get the syllabus. When you appear for your gate 25 or 26 or whenever you are appearing for gate, you will really appreciate my content that yes, sir, you have given something. You will appreciate this. That everything I have covered here in free of cost, it is not easy to cover everything in free of cost, okay? But I'm trying my best to cover, so please spread this, please spread this. Okay, now, without wasting the time, let's solve the problem. Let's solve the problem. Okay. The question is, this question is asked in gate. Which of the following function is not differentiable? Which of the following function is not differentiable in the domain minus 1 to 1? Okay, we have to check that which is not differentiable. Now, if you see here, if you see here, then there are few functions and these are very simple functions to plot. I always prefer that if you can actually solve it by the basic method of differentiation, okay, but I prefer it to solve by graph because if you know the graph of functions which are easy then better you solve it by graph better you solve it by by graph okay so now first option you can see from minus 1 to 1 i can easily draw the graph of y is equal to x square you can watch my old videos if you are new to this channel in the playlist complete engineering maths playlist is available where you can i have covered here i am covering the entire syllabus of maths so this is the graph of y equal to x square in the function itself i have taught you now you can see a from minus 1 to 1 at minus 1 this will be 1 at 1 also it is 1 because it is symmetric about y axis okay so now you can see it is not differentiable here you can see at every point there is unique tangent at every point there is unique tangent at every point there is no unique tangent there is no sharp corner there is no vertical tangent there is no discontinuity so it is continuous in minus 1 to 1 it is Continuous as well as it is differentiable in minus 1 to 1 because at every point there is unique tangent. It is unique tangent. Then if I move to y equal to x minus 1. So y is equal to x minus 1 means uh, when x is 0, y is minus 1. When x is 0, y is minus 1 somewhere here. And when y is 0, x is 1, right? y is 0, x is 1. So this line will be this line. And this line, you can see line has a has a slope that is that is 1, that is 10, 45 degree, right? Slope is 1. And everywhere, whatever point you check, whatever point you check, not even minus 1 to 1. Everywhere it is differentiable. Even this y equal to x square is everywhere differentiable. Everywhere differentiable. So here if you want, you can write a note that all polynomial functions nil functions are continuous and differentiable in r r means entire real axis they are continuous as well as differentiable there is no problem there is no point at which they have problem in differentiability or continuity. Okay. 
Similarly, f x equal to two, f x equal to two is a constant line, right? This is again a polynomial x equal to zero, right? Two into x zero. This is x. At every x, y is two. So it is continuous everywhere. It is differentiable everywhere. No issues. So in minus one to one, also it is differentiable and continuous. Now f x equal to maximum of x and minus x. f x equal to maximum of x and minus y x. So first you plot y equal to x and y equal to minus x. So this is nothing but the linear functions. Y equal to x line will be having forty five degree, degree slope. Y equal to x line. If you have not found, not saw my function lectures, then please watch the playlist. And y equal to minus x will be this line. This y equal to minus x. Okay. Now question is we have to plot the graph of or we have to see the function which is maximum of x and minus x. So this y equal to x, this y equal to minus x. So I will take only maximum value. So this y equal to minus x is maximum when x belongs to minus infinity to zero. So this will be the graph. Okay. And y equal to x will be greater than y equal to minus one when x vary from zero to infinity. So this will be the graph. Okay, this red is the graph of maximum of y equal to x or minus x. Now we have to see that whether it is differentiable in minus one to one or not. In this red graph, you can see a big, big, very big sharp corner at x equal to zero. This is a sharp corner. Sharp corner means there are two tangent at x equal to zero. One is tan forty five. That is slope one. One is tan one thirty five. That is slope minus one. So as there is a sharp corner, it is differentiable everywhere in minus one to one except zero. Everywhere you can see here, whatever point you take, there is slope minus one, slope minus one, slope minus one. So it is differentiable. LSD, RSD same. But at this point also, slope one, slope one, slope one, RSD, LSD one, RSD, LSD one, differentiable. But only at this point there is a problem. So this is not differentiable at x equal to zero. So which function is not differentiable at x equal to zero? There is maximum of f x and minus x. And what is the answer? D is the answer. D is the answer. Okay. So very good illustration because it is a simple question. That's why I have taken it here. Okay. Now we'll solve a lot of tough questions also. Lot of tough questions also. So this is the one which I want to solve here. And one question uh, that also I'll solve. This question also I want to solve here. This video two questions I'll cover. One more cover question I'll cover. That is this. This is asking again. Gate two thousand eighteen. Now, question is: Let f be a real valued function of real variable defined as f x equal to x square. F x equal to x square when when x is positive. When x is f x equal to x square when x is positive, and f x equal to minus x square when x is negative. When x is negative, f x equal to x square and f x equal to minus x square when x is negative. Okay. Now, what he is asking? f x is discontinuous. Continuity you have to check. Continuity as well as differentiability you have to check. First derivative is different continuous or not, and first derivative is differentiable or not. So, so many things we have to check. So many things we have to check. Okay. So we have to check its continuity. Continuity means at a now this is a question of piecewise function. If you have not seen the last video, I refer you to see the last video where I have show show you that how to solve this. I told that in the last video that if you are seeing any piecewise function, any piecewise function, so you can check the continuity. Suppose this is the function I have to check its continuity everywhere, or its differentiability everywhere. So point to check the continuity is where it changes its its nature. So x equal to zero, you can see at x equal to When x is positive or equal to zero, it is x square. When x is negative, it is minus x square. Both are two different functions. So it is changing its nature at x equal to zero. So at x equal to zero, I can check. At x equal to zero, I should check. Okay. And he is also asking at a single point, but I will check at every point because I am taking it as an illustration. So at x equal to zero, I should check. Now y equal to x square. All polynomial functions are continuous and differentiable. So when x is greater than equal to zero. Actually, x square is continuous and differentiable, and differentiable. Okay. 
when x is less than zero, x is less than zero, then minus x square, even minus x square is continuous and differentiable. Differentiable. Okay. So both are now at the point where it is changing its dimension, it is, sorry, where it's changing its function, there we have to see. Now at x equal to 0, if you see at x equal to 0, what is left hand limit? Left hand limit will be when you approach x from negative side of 0, that is this part. So left hand limit will be, if you just substitute 0 here, so it will be LHL will be 0. Or if you want to solve like this limit x tend to 0 from left side, then function is minus x square. Now put the value 0 here, it will be 0. What is RHL? RHL is limit and function x approaches to 0 from, from the positive side. Now if you put limit x approaches to 0 from positive side, then what is the function? x square. Just put 0 here, so 0 square is 0. So RHL is 0. Now this we will not use in exam. Directly you write this. What is LHL? 0. Just put the value here, 0. RHL, 0. So LHL equal to RHL and value of function is f of 0 is 0. From here, 0 square is 0. So LHL equal to RHL equal to f of a, it means it is continuous at x equal to 0. It is continuous at x equal to 0. It is continuous at x equal to 0. There is no issue. It is continuous at x equal to 0. Now, when it is continuous, in the last video I told that if a function is continuous, you can directly differentiate it. You can directly differentiate it. You can directly differentiate it. So what I'm going to do here, I'll differentiate it. So just take f dash x. So if function is discontinuous, then directly at x equal to 0, it is discontinuous, so it is non-differentiable. But as it is continuous, you can directly differentiate it, you can directly differentiate it. So this will be 2x when x is greater than or equal to 0. And this will be minus 2x when x is less than 0. Minus 2x when x is less than 0. Because it is continuous, I can differentiate it. I can differentiate it. Now this will be your right hand derivative because x greater than or equal to 0. So at x equal to 0, this will be at x equal to 0. I am talking about x equal to 0, it will be right hand derivative. If x equal to 1, it is left hand derivative as well as right hand derivative. At x equal to 10, it is left hand derivative as well as right hand derivative. But at x equal to 0, it will be right hand derivative. At x equal to 0, this will be LHD. Okay. So at x equal to 0, RHD, put the value, that will be 0. L and C will be 0. Both are equal. It means it is differentiable. It is differentiable at x equal to 0. It is differentiable at x equal to 0. So first thing is what I can take. It is discontinuous. No, it is not discontinuous. It is continuous. Okay. Fx is continuous but not differentiable. It is, it is continuous just but it is also differentiable. So this is not the answer. Fx is differentiable. That we have to check first derivative is continuous or not. So now this is the first derivative. At x equal to 0, you have to check whether it is continuous or not. Now take it as gx. New function. This gx is continuous at x equal to 0 or not. So what is the RHL? This is the at x equal to 0. This is the RHL. What is the LHL at x equal to 0? This is the LHL. So for gx, RHL will be at x equal to 0. I am checking. RHL will be 0. LHL will be 0. Both are equal. Both are equal. And and it is equal to both are equal and it is value, equal to value of function. Both are equal. And what is the value? G at 0 is also 0. Both are equal and G at 0 is 0. So it is continuous. So GX is continuous. GX is continuous at x equal to 0. GX is continuous. So what does it mean? Its first derivative is not continuous. That is also false. Actually, its first derivative is continuous. This is also false. So what is the answer? D. Its first derivative is not differentiable at x equal to 0. Now, it is saying that first derivative is not differentiable at x equal to 0. So gx, you have to check differentiability of gx. As it is continuous, as it is continuous, you can directly differentiate. So what is g dash x? g dash x is actually f double dash x g dash x is actually f double dash x. So this will be 2 or minus 2. Differentiate it 2x is 2 and minus 2. 
x greater than equal to 0 x less than 0 so this will be right hand derivative of x equal to 0 when x is at x equal to 0 and this is left hand derivative at x equal to 0 right and rsg and lsg are not equal rsg not equal to lsg it means it, the function is not twice differentiable or gx is not differentiable so it is true fx is differentiable at x equal to 0 yes but its first derivative is not differentiable this is true so d is the correct answer d is the correct answer okay so what you will do if you see expression type of questions i'm going to solve a lot of questions here then what you want to show you check the continuity if at x equal to 0 it is continuous you can directly differentiate it just differentiate it and check whether at x equal to 0 lsg and rsg are same as it is same so it is differentiable first time now at x equal to 0 again it is check want to check the differentiability check at x equal to 0 f dash x is continuous or not now we can see f dash x is continuous at x equal to 0 right so now again you can differentiate it you have differentiated it but now second differentiation i am not able to do because lsg and rsg are not same at x equal to 0 are not same at x equal to 0 so it is not differentiable twice at x equal to 0 at x equal to 0 it is not differentiable twice clear so i hope this question is clear to you thank you for watching the videos